Today I will demonstrate the functional component of cranial nerve which is one of the most complicated topic of neuroanatomy. Before understanding functional component you need to have very clear knowledge about the function and supply of cranial nerve. In that case I suggest you to watch my previous videos. I will give the link in the description box. So before understanding the functional component we need to know six terms. We have to be very clear about these terms first of all efferent or motor efferent or sensory efferent efferent means when a, a nerve fiber carries sensation from periphery to cent, from central to periphery then it is efferent when carries nerve supply from central to periphery then we will call the fiber efferent or motor then efferent efferent fiber carries sensation from periphery to central it carries sensation from periphery to central so it is sensory Then we, then we need to know about the somatic somatic fiber and visceral fiber somatic means soma or body wall when a nerve, a nerve fiber gives supply to the body wall then we will call the fiber that fiber has somatic component and the visceral uh, when it gives supply to the viscera smooth muscle deepest structures of the body or glands then we would say that the nerve fiber has visceral component then general and special general is when a nerve fiber carries general sensation all the general sens sensation like pain temperature vibration pressure touch proprioception and two point discrimination when a cranial nerve fiber, when a cranial nerve fiber carries general sensation like all this sensation then we will say that the cranial nerve has got general component now the special there are some special sensation like smell vision balance taste and hearing when a cranial nerve fiber carries all this special sensation then we will say that the cranial nerve fiber has got special component so these are all four com all six component we have to know so efferent efferent or motor that carries sensation from central to periphery then efferent or sensory that carries sensation from periphery to central Then somatic, somatic when uh, it gives nerve supply to the body wall, then it is somatic component. Visceral when cranial nerve gives supply to the viscera, smooth muscle, or deepest structures of the body or gland, then it is visceral. General when the cranial nerve carries sensation, general sensation from all over the body or uh, any structure, then we will say that it has a general component. And special when it carries special kind of sensation like sm smell, vision, balance, taste, hearing then the component is special so these are all six terms we have to know before understanding the functional component of cranial nerve so I'll make a chart and make it more clear a cranial nerve fiber may have efferent or motor fiber Efferent or sensory fiber. Now, efferent may have general component or special component. General may have again somatic or visceral component. So, when a general fiber 
when a uh, general efferent fiber gives supply to skeletal muscles skeletal muscles that are derived from paraxial mesoderm or any other source than pharyngeal arch skeletal muscle that are derived from paraxial mesoderm or any other source than pharyngeal arch will have the general somatic component now general visceral efferent when cranial nerve fiber gives supply when a uh, motor cranial nerve gives supply to the smooth muscle or glands then the cranial nerve fiber has visceral component so so this one is general somatic efferent group of component and this one is general visceral efferent component general visceral efferent component these are purely motor efferent because it is a motor fiber and now efferent efferent also have may have two component general or special here in case of efferent fiber um, when a, a efferent or motor cranial nerve fiber gives supply to the muscles that are derived from pharyngeal arch when efferent or motor cranial nerve fiber gives supply to the muscles that are derived from pharyngeal arch then we will say that the cranial nerve fiber has a special uh, a special component special component will be special visceral efferent special visceral efferent now efferent or sensory general or special for the general fiber they may have somatic and visceral component somatic we know that soma means body wall as we we told earlier when when a cranial nerve fiber carries general sensation from the body wall then we will say that the cranial nerve has somatic component so the functional component will be general somatic efferent efferent as it is a sensory fiber now visceral visceral means when uh, when the cranial nerve gives supply to the deepest structures or the viscera then the functional component will be general visceral efferent general visceral efferent as it's supplying the viscera now efferent special special sensations are vision hearing balance smell and taste so these three these three has different functional component that is vision hearing and balance has different functional component that is special somatic afferent special somatic afferent and smell and taste has different functional component that is special visceral afferent smell and taste special visceral afferent this is the final box all the functional components are summarized here for more detail please watch the functional components of cranial nerve part 2